What's going on everybody? Mr. AGZ here bringing you a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Now this time it's up against Desai. Desai is running in with Porygon 2, Azumaro, Noivern, it's got the Arcanine, Mawile, and is that what I think it is? Prankster Sableye? Maybe. Now I'm running in with my team. Yes, this was on a dare. That's one poke you see. I've got Ferrothorn, Garchomp, I've got my Landris T, I've got my Gyarados, my Cloyster, and the Dared Poke. Arbok. So, <laughs> how does this battle turn out? Well, not as bad as you think here. Not as bad as you think. So here we go. Desai is issuing a challenge. So here we go. He's issuing a challenge. He's going to lead off with his Sableye. So Sableye coming out. We're going to go ahead and send out Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn coming out. He's going to run the Fake Out, which is going to hit me, do a little bit of damage, but it's going to do more damage to him than it did to me. There's my Iron Barbs damage, and here's my Rocky Helmet damage. So it takes him down about a quarter health. I am going to flinch. That's fine. Here comes a will o -Wisp. I avoid the attack, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get the Stealth Rocks up. So Stealth Rocks come up. Here comes a will o -Wisp. This time it is going to connect with me, unfortunately, but that's kind of the way it is. I'm burnt. We're going to go ahead and get a Leech Seed off on him. So now we are um, in a pretty good position here against Mr. Sableye here. We are going to leap some health back, even though the fact that we're burned. Take a little bit of health, not much, but every little bit helps, right? So we go back to full health, and then the burn's going to take us down to 159. He's going to go ahead and run Confuse Ray. I'm confused. <laughs> Actually, I, I had to yawn. Sorry, guys. So I'm confused. I'm going to hit myself. Not doing myself any favors here. We are going to get some Leech Seeds, so that's going to do me favors, but that's it. Um, I'm undoubtedly sure that the Sableye probably has a recover, so it's probably not going to matter in the long run. So I'm hurt by my burn. He's going to withdraw the Sableye because he doesn't want to keep on recovering myself. And he's going to send in Mawile. Perfect time for him to do that for himself. He's going to get some stone damage. I'm confused, but like I said, it's perfect time because I went for a Power Whip, and that's not going to do much of anything against Mawile. Look at that. Not even 10%. Okay, maybe 10%. We're going to take the burn. And now we got to figure out what to do with Mawa. Now, I don't want him to set up a Swords Dance or something, so I'm going to switch out while I get the chance. We're going straight into Landorus. Now, he may also have Fire Fang. Um, so that's another reason why I switched out. Here comes the Mega Mawa now. He's got Hyper Cutter. And now he's going to have huge power by Mega Evolving. So... There's Mega Mawile. He's going to get a Sword Stance off, and that's the reason why I switched out, because I don't want him to set up. Last thing you want is your opponent's set up. He's going to go ahead and run the Sucker Punch with huge power and Sword Stance. It's going to do a massive amount of damage. Fortunately, I survive it. We're going to go ahead and run this Earthquake, and Earthquake, fortunately, is going to be able to finish off the Mawile, so we're in a decent position. Decent is the key words, okay? Here comes the Azumarill. Azumarill can finish me off with an Aqua Jet. He's going to get the stone damage, and here comes the Aqua Jet. That's going to be more than enough to finish off my Landris. So Landris goes down. When I think about this, I should not have sacrificed my Landris. I probably should have switched, but I didn't. We're going to send in my Arbok. Arbok comes in, floating in the air with the air balloon. He's going to withdraw his Azumarill, and he's going to go ahead and send in his own Sableye. So Sableye coming in, and we're going to go ahead, and he's going to take stone damage, and we're going to run a Coil. So there's my coil. It's going to raise my attack and defense and accuracy. So here comes the fake out from Sableye. That's fine. It's going to hit me for a little bit of damage. Not a lot. Um, I do flinch. So that's a thing. Here comes a Will-O-Wisp. It is going to go ahead and burn me. And that's going to really wreck me in the end here. I'm going to use Gunk Shot. So here comes the Gunk Shot on the Sableye. Doing a lot more damage than I thought it would because it was a crit. And down goes Sableye. So Sableye goes down and out. We have Shed Skin, so we are healed from the uh, from the burn. Here comes Arcanine next. Arcanine is here. We're going to go ahead and get stone damage on the Arcanine. He's going to get the Intimidate drop, which is going to drop my attack. He's going to run Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz is going to hit. And my Arbok, no, we take it. Surprisingly, we take it. He's going to get some recall damage. We're going to go ahead and throw another Trash Lid at him with his Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot... Nearly able to finish off the Arcanine. Here comes another Flare Blitz. The question is, are we going to survive another Flare Blitz or not? We unfortunately do not survive my Arbok. But his Arcanine 
is going to get some recoil damage there, which is nice. That was a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and send out Gyarados next here, thinking the Arcanine can't do much to us. Here comes a Flare Blitz from him, and Flare Blitz is, Flare Blitz is going to do a decent chunk of damage. It's not very effective. It does get the crit, but the thing that hurts the most is it does burn us. It burns us. That's what hurts the most. If that had not burned us, we would have been freaking awesome. We're going to go ahead and get this Dragon Dance up, which is going to allow my attack to go right back up to normal, just about. Almost normal. There's the burn damage. So now we're now we're really in trouble as far as HP is concerned. Now he's got Porygon 2. Our attack's cut in half. So now the Porygon 2 is pretty much going to be able to stall us out if he wants to. Or finish us off with probably a Thunderbolt. We're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve right now to Mega Gyarados. Which is going to raise all my stats except speed. And we're going to go ahead and get the Mole Breaker ability. Not that that's going to matter. And we're going to go ahead and run Waterfall, hoping for the Flinch Hacks and hoping to finish off the Porygon. We do a decent chunk of damage, but here comes that Thunderbolt. And there's really nothing I can do about his um, Porygon. We are going to get the burn damage. Like I said, <laughs> with the burns, there, there's nothing we can do. Nothing at all. Here comes the Garchomp. We're going to send him out, hopefully being able to do some here. We're going to go ahead and run the Earthquake against Porygon 2. Earthquake Garchomp is not enough to take him out. Here comes the Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to be super effective, and it's going to nearly finish off my Garchomp. Garchomp somehow survives. We're going to run this Earthquake. However, with that being said, there's not much else I can do here against the rest of his team. Not with 8 HP and an Azumarill waiting in the wait. Here comes the Azumarill. He's going to go ahead and get some stone damage. I know an Aqua Jet is imminent, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out right now. Go straight into Ferrothorn. So we can go ahead and get that little damage on him. Here comes Ferrothorn. Here comes the Aqua Jet. It's going to hit me with the huge power boost. It's going to do a little bit more damage. But here comes the Iron Barb and, of course, the uh, Rocket Helmet damage. So that's going to take him down to half health. I am going to suffer a burn. And now the question is, can I survive any attack from Azumarill? It's not going to matter because he's going to withdraw. And you're going to send out Noivern. Noivern. Oh my goodness. It gets worse and worse and worse. Noivern comes in. We're going to go ahead and run a Power Whip on Noivern. That's only going to do like a quarter damage because he quad resists that, I believe. That was a crit. That's how bad he resists that. So Noivern's a thing. Here comes a Flamethrower. I forget Noivern's pack that sometimes. And that's going to easily take out my Ferrothorn. And that's unfortunate because I probably should have kept him for the Azumarill, but I didn't. But my other choice was Cloyster, and I really didn't want to switch into that Flamethrower. So Cloyster comes out. Here comes the Flamethrower. That's going to be more than enough to take me down to 28, and we're burned. The burn has been kicking my butt. So that's going to drop my attack. That's not what I need. If I had not gotten burned, I might have been able to do something about the rest of his team. But as it is, that burn is going to wreck me. Take me down. Takes me down to 13 HP. We're going straight for the Ice School Spirit to finish off the Noi Burn. But because of the burn, we're not going to live long enough to take out the rest of his team. So that's unfortunate. Here comes my Cloister. <laughs> we're going to die to a burn. So now we're left with our last poke, Garchomp. <laughs> Garchomp's going to come in against Azumarill, and Aqua Jet's going to easily be able to finish us off. But you know what? Didn't do that bad of a job. Really didn't. Considering considering what we brought or whatnot, um, I did make some misplays, but you know what? It was still a great battle. I'm happy with it, and I know he is as well. So let me know what you guys think about this battle against Desai. I thought it was a very good battle, and I look forward to another one against him. Alright, remember the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Until next time, catch them all.